One thing led to another, another thing led to another thing, and finally something big happened. Well, we must have heard of these kind of stories in our childhood, right? Welcome to Biotechnica. Today I'm here to tell you a story which is unfolding around us, but we are not realizing it. To start with, do you know what was the computing power of the computer which took the man to moon? It was probably lesser, way lesser than what is in your pockets today you form that means today we are living in an unlimited computing power era we are going to analyze how this has got amazing effect on your career is going to have it's already having and how can you utilize the enhanced computing power to grow your career in biological research now to start with i'm not going to tell you hey use chat gpt hey use these uh, generative ai to enhance your cvs of course you're doing that i know it and if you're not then you should do it but today i'm here to talk about how computers are revolutionizing biological research and how by not learning these computing things you are going to be left behind. And I don't want you to be left behind. You know why? Because if you are left behind, then I failed. Then the whole purpose of starting Biotechnica failed. So to start with, the first point I have for you is, of course, you can use Generative AI to enhance your CV, write cover letters, network with people, whatnot. But when it comes to biological research, we all know that every biological research generates data. Now, that data is due to high throughput technologies. Computers today are enabling us to process this massive amount of data from next gen sequencing, from mass spectrometry, from various imaging techniques. It is helping us analyze, interpret, extrapolate better. And that is why learning some basic computer languages like R, Python, Java, Perl, it's very important. Computer-aided drug design, AI ML in biology, bioinformatics. Now, the second point, the racing car, which was a bullock car ah. box. Now, you must have seen a bullock cart, right? Do we remember when the bullock cart was invented? No, but a racing car, we all know. Okay, wow. So what if we could convert bullock cart into a racing car? Bioinformatics is one such tool. Bioinformatics is a domain where we are using sequence analysis, such as genomic sequencing, protein structure prediction, phylogenetic studies. These are heavily relying on computational roots. Now, fast forward to that, molecular modeling, in silico modeling of biomolecules, which is allowing us now to predict structure and function of a drug, the structure activity relationship of a drug, all of that can be done using bioinformatics and AIML is making bioinformatics the real racing car. So yes, computers are having an amazing effect there as well. And that is why I always insist that instead of getting into the rut of finish your degree, get a job and then die, I want you to finish your degree, learn computers, do something great, create a new way of doing research and then don't just pay your bills on a lot of money. I believe that computers today, when combined with biology, is the Trump card. I'm not here to endorse the upcoming President Trump, but yes, it is a Trump card. Next up, we have drug discovery and development. And this has got three big boom coming. If you can see it along with me, then you're going to be ready. The first boom is, of course, AIML leading to more drug being discovered. Now, already a AI ML drug is in the third phase of clinical trials. And that means any day you'll have an AI powered drug in the market. Now, machine learning models are there which are able to predict drug efficacy, predict the drug toxicity, find out the possible potential side effects and helping us to reduce the time and cost of developing a drug. But this is going to have a huge effect on another industry and that is clinical research industry. Because if so many drugs are coming into the market, where would they go. They have to go through clinical trials. That means that the clinical research field is going to undergo a boom because there are so many molecules. So all these clinical research companies are going to hire more clinical research professionals. They're going to hire more clinical data management professionals. And you know in clinical research who makes the maximum money? Clinical data managers. And you can become clinical data manager if you enroll in Biotechnica's clinical data management course. Details are given in the description. Now primarily I told you about bioinformatics. When we combine with AI ML, we can do more of drug discovery, we can do virtual screening, we can do drug repurposing. Computational techniques are available now which is helping us screen through billions of compounds within seconds and it will help us, you know, what is drug discovery? It's a hit and trial method. I hit, it works, okay, let's send it for animal studies. But what if we could hit more, then we can have more trials. That is where we have to have more computing power and which we are going to get but we need you to learn computers and you can do so by 
by learning bioinformatics, computational biology. And let me tell you, the last winter internship of Biotechnica along with our Swedish partners is starting from 25th of November. Then we will have only in February. So if in case you're watching this video after 25th of November, please check out the link given in the description where you can apply for the next batch of bioinformatics or artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques in biology and apply that and implement that to grow in your career. Now followed by that, the next aspect where computers are revolutionizing is systems biology and synthetic biology. Today we will we are able to model complex systems. We are able to simulate entire biological pathway or networks enabling better understanding of diseases and potential interventions. We are able to design better synthetic organisms using computational models and we will be able to engineer organisms for a specific task such as biofuel production or disease detection. That is where computers are coming handy. Now follow with that oncology research precision medicine that is where the future is we are seeing more personalized medicine being recommended by doctors for patients but how can we quickly get that computing computing allows us to analyze individual genomes tailoring treatments for genetic profiles i remember meeting founder of an oncology company and he told me that his company is screening drugs finding out the oncolytic properties and then straight away sending for clinical trials without any lab and how is he able to do it all through ai so that is where the the big data analysis comes into picture. AI-driven tools are available today which will help us analyze patient data. It will help us analyze this to screen the molecules, to predict disease outcomes and suggest personalized therapies for everybody. That is where computers are coming handy again. Now, moving ahead, of course, automation in the lab. I'm sure you must have heard of robots in Elon Musk. You know, that uh, recent uh, st stage, he brought in some humanoid robots. Let's party! who were doing the experiment. What if in the future, hu robots and humans come together to automate experiments, data collection and analysis and improve the reproducibility and efficiency? Now, that's going to happen very, very soon. My concern is, many of my subscribers are still thinking that... Hey, we can still get a job in the old-fashioned way. The old way of getting a wet lab job is gone. The new way is here. Companies are not going to hire you if you know only wet lab techniques. You need to learn the dry lab techniques. And that is why Biotechnica trains you, gives you exposure, gives you exposure on international projects with our Swedish partners. You gain work experience, you publish papers, and you truly become a scientist. The new avenues which are going to come up with computing power is quantum biology. One such field which we will see by 2030. Followed with that, we will see AI-driven hypothesis generation. We will see digital twins of biological system. We will see omics integration into various other tools. We will see single cell analytics. We will see bioinformatics for rare diseases. We will see AI enhanced bioproduction. We will see advanced biomanufacturing using synthetic biology. We will see environmental applications of computers. We will see AI ML being applied in agriculture, precision and personalized agriculture. And we are going to see all of this revolution in our lifetime. We have two choices. One, to just sit and watch. Second, to make a lot of money from this revolution which is about to come. Which one would you choose? Let me know in the comment section. I would choose the one which will help us make a lot of money and that is learning AIML, learning bioinformatics, learning computers, learning coding and applying it in our research. What do you say? Let me know in the comment section. And of course, I have put all the resources which I discussed today in this video in the comment section. Go through it. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.